I always feel for those officials who have to dress in the full suits when they're in these hot <laughs> temperatures like the mayor. Those farmers, by the way, enjoying the rain we're going to get tonight. Kylie Miller is back with her first alert forecast. Kind of an interesting evening setting up around here. Unfortunately, we have a dynamic system that's coming our way, and the main concerns are going to be wind damage with flooding, too. Oh, wow. okay. So we have a lot to track with the forecast. Here's a look at radar and satellite. Off towards our north and west, we do have a tornado watch out. That is not including our region, but you can see all those lightning bolts popping up lots of radar activity moving through so we're going to keep a close eye on it here of course we do have dry conditions right now we are not seeing anything problematic at this moment even into lake county in illinois we don't have any rain moving through like we did earlier this morning we're going to continue to see though a slight risk in place for a good majority of Illinois, and then we are going to be seeing that marginal risk in place for the Great Lakes state stretching back towards Kansas City. So with that said, we are looking at a one or a two on the risk scale. The main concerns, as I mentioned, strong damaging wind gusts followed by hail and flooding, but we can't rule out a spin up tornado either. So let's go ahead and go through the track of it. It's still nice and beautiful right now. Temperatures are very warm hovering in the low 90s, but the system is going to be impacting us closer to 9 p.m. across our northwestern zones. Then it's going to be moving through the heart of the city closer to about 1130, if not midnight, and then finally moving out of the city closer to about 1, 2 o'clock, but then it's going to be impacting northwestern Indiana, and you can see these oranges and reds popping up on radar. That's indication of heavy downpours. So if you're a light sleeper, you actually may get woken up by some of these thunderstorms and some of the heavy rain hitting your rooftop. But the good news is by tomorrow it is going to be much cooler and this cold front is taking away all of the humidity. So temperatures for tonight are going to scale back into the 60s and the low 70s. Highs for tomorrow is going to be near normal. We're going to be back into the mid 80s. So we are looking at those cooler conditions for tomorrow especially for the lakeshore communities. So for tomorrow, 80 degrees your high. We're looking at 85 for the high temperature on Monday. And then your first alert action day, we're going to be monitoring Tuesday. Tuesday, we are going to be seeing rain showers and storms could go strong to severe once again. And temperatures on Tuesday will be in the 90s, feeling closer to the triple digits. Then we're going to take a step back for Wednesday and Thursday, plus Friday with highs in the low to mid 80s. Chris. Okay, Kylie, thanks very much.